Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to Tokyo, Japan and I am so excited to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to be vlogging the entire trip so it's going to be a very magical vlog because there's going to be lots of Harry Potter involved as well. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So yes, we are heading off to Tokyo, Japan, and I am so excited. We're also going to go to Osaka, Japan, but you will get the whole rundown as we are going. I'm going to try to film every single day that we're there, and I will bring you along with the journey. I'm sure there'll be some dedicated videos to like the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. That's something we're for sure doing, as well as going to Osaka, Japan to Universal Studios. That one might get its own video as well, and then the rest might be mixed together. But I am so excited to head there, so I think in the next clip I will be there. Hi everyone and good morning from Japan! I am so excited to be here. So today is day one. We did arrive last night but it was really late and we just basically went to bed. So today I'm going to take you guys along with me. We're going to the Tokyo Tower first and then later this evening we're going to be going to the Harry Potter Cafe and then we'll be doing some other stops along the way. But I will take you guys with me as much as I can. I'm going to try to vlog this entire week that I'm here. So we will see what the video turns out. I might break it up into parts depending on how much I film. But let's head on out. So I got a sausage egg sandwich and then I also got this quiche. It's so good. I already tried it. And then for my coffee. I got this caramel brulee iced coffee. So excited to be eating something. We're starving. What happened to you in the bathroom? I didn't know how to turn off the uh, bidet. Bidet and <laughs> water was all over my butt sweat. I totally forgot to bring sunglasses, so I feel like I'm gonna keep squinting. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is better. So we are outside the Tokyo Sky Tree, and this is like a super, super tall building. And we are gonna go all the way to the top, and then we'll have this like beautiful sky tree view. So let's head on in. All right, like I was saying, very tall building. <laughs> like, look, it goes all the way up there, and then that's where we're gonna go. And we'll take some pictures. Now we are up here on the whole like gallery deck, so we can look out the window. So I'll have to show you a peek out and see all the city that we can see up here. It's really nice way to get like a whole view of everything and all the buildings. It looks really awesome up here. There's even like Christmas decorations, which I'm loving. I'm gonna show you the little Christmas tree they have up here, but it's so much fun. And this was one of my mom's picks of what she wanted to do when we came here to Tokyo. So really happy. This is kind of our first stop. And then I did spot a little Harry Potter pop-up shop at the like train station that we exited out of. So we are gonna be going back over there and checking out some of the merch. I saw so many things I've never seen before. I'm really excited to go back. I'm like, I wanna buy that, 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 that. <laughs> so we will be going back there in just a little bit after we get our view here. And yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. And here's the view from the gallery deck. So cool, you can see like all of Tokyo. Or at least part of the city. <laughs> My mom, she's a little photographer. She's gonna get her camera settings right. She gets some news. She ended up buying something at the Harry Potter store. But yeah, I will be going back when I can have some more time. They do have a little <laughs> cafe up here as well. All right, let's check out this view on this side. Whoa, not sure what river that is, but looks really awesome. If you guys know, let me know. Educate me, please. They even have these where you can view out of, you have to pay with your card. Probably would tell me what everything is. Get a closer look at everything. A little spot where you can get a stamp. I stamp it. You just stamp it into here. And then you stamp it onto your pad, which is really cool. They even have a glass door. How cool is it? <laughs> We just finished up at the Tokyo Sky Tree and it was so amazing up there. I loved the views. We even got some drinks while we were up there. It was really nice. There's like a lot of food options. It's really cool in there. And now we're gonna be heading back to like the, I think train station area. There's so many like, shops within these stations 
and we ended up seeing a Harry Potter shop when we were leaving there to get to this ticket time at 11 o'clock. So we were kind of rushed, but now we're going to head back and I'll show you a lot of the items that they had in the shop. I saw some things I've never seen before, so I'm really excited to go back in there. But mom, what did you think of the Sky Tree? Did you like it? It was awesome. I loved it. Yes, it was a lot of fun. So now we're going to be heading to the shop, but I do highly recommend that. It was only like $24 for both of our tickets, so it's not bad. Definitely like nice little stop. You don't have to stay too long if you don't have a lot of time, but I think it's definitely worth a stop for sure. So here is this little like pop-up Harry Potter shop. It is so cool. There's so much merch in here. Like they have these pillowcases, little couch bag. I think this is a pillowcase. So pretty. It's beautiful plate. This little area you can take photos with. It's Gryffindor. So much merch. Over here we've got some Honeydew sweets. Even this happy birthday Harry tin. And here's how much it is. 3,410 yen. And this is what's inside it. There's some biscuits or cookies. Over here we've got some jewelry. The dark mark ring. I like this. So cute. 2,530 yen. Ravenclaw's diadem ring. Time turner. That's what this one looks like. Ooh. We got the Holcrux ring. That looks awesome. It's 3,300 yen. Comes in this nice little box. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? Okay, we got Dobby. He holds your jewelry. And then we also have the Niffler that holds your jewelry. So cute. Here's the price for those. Got a bunch of merch over here. It's like house merch. It's like Hufflepuff, Slytherin, into Gryffindor, and last but not least, Ravenclaw. Over here, we've got some flapper bags. Love this Weasley pouch for your laptop. I feel like I need one. Well, I do need one. I don't have one. So I feel like I need a Harry Potter one. They've got some scrunchies. Nine and three quarters. I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard through that plastic. Hair ties. Petunia's cape. Oh my gosh, look at your little doggy. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, here's the cape. Oh yeah, it's a little wallet. That's nice. I knocked him over. There we go. I think I need to get this. Oh, so gorgeous. Beautiful mugs. Over here we got some more mugs. Oh my god, I already see what I need. Absolutely need this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay. Oh, it's new. Also, this is this? Yeah, it's ceramic. That is so cute. It looks like a paper cup, honestly. I love it though. And a matching plate. Here's the prices on these. So this for the cup. This one's for the plate. The cutest little chocolate frog keychain. Got the Voldemort's wand. If you even lit up at the tip. Over here, we've got some more Honeydukes items. These are so nice. It's like soft, almost like a towel material. Some more pouches. Ooh, this one's nice. do I need all of them I want everything in this store right now <gasps> look at this Luna love good jewelry can you see it and then the earring set <gasps> wow 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 oh my gosh this ring 
earrings, dangly ones or studs. Look, it's a mirror on this side. And then we've got the fat lady here. Oh my gosh. And then we've got this chocolate frog. And press the button and it opens. Oh wow! It plays music. I love it. And then you have some wands too. And then over here are more plushies. I think this is the last bit in here. We've got this. Headwig's plushie, it's in a bag, so bear with me. And then this Monster Book of Monster plushie. Here's the price on that. Crucian, Sniffler, little guys. Wow. Oh my gosh, these little bears. And then you can get the Fred and George little sweaters as well. All right, I think that's everything over here. Now it's time for me to shop, so let's see what kind of damage I can do in here. I love all the decor that they have. We've got the fat lady here. They even have this really cool photo op with these sorting hats. Really cool. And then there's some more little portraits over here outside of the shop. And here's the shop name, if I didn't say it before. But I absolutely love it. I did some damage. I have three bags worth. I'll have to do a huge haul when I get home. But yes, this is just one of many, I'm sure. We just finished up over at the Sky Tree and we did a lot of shopping there. I found a lot of Harry Potter merch. And now we're gonna be heading back to the hotel and get ready and freshen up. We're gonna be going to the Harry Potter Cafe tonight. 
kind of like how I want to celebrate my birthday, have a birthday dinner. Today's November 6th for us, but tomorrow is November 7th, which is my actual birthday and I'll be turning 30. But yeah, we are just kind of heading out. It's our commute. We've got a, almost an empty <laughs> shuttle. What are they called? Shuttles? Train? I have no idea. Um, just like trying to figure it out. I've been using a lot of like Google Maps to figure out what stop and what platform and all of that to do because it can get a little confusing, but the signs and everything, it, I don't know. If you've been here before, you know what I mean. There's like a lot because I'm not used to doing something like this, but using it GPS on my phone definitely is helpful. So yeah, just follow that. And I have T-Mobile, so I actually have service here. As long as you have like a limited plan as T-Mobile, you can use your service. I have LTE all throughout Tokyo, which is really cool. And I also bought the Wi-Fi box though, just in case I needed it. I'd rather have it and not need it than, you know, the reverse. But you can also charge your phone with this. It's like a battery pack as well. It's really, really handy. And you pick those up at the airport. So right when we got off, I found a little spot and I picked it up. And then I just been using it on the trip. You just have to charge it because it can die. But it's really handy to have. And I have used it a little bit when my service hasn't been that great. But overall, my service has been working. Like, I can text just fine, and I can get on, like, Instagram just fine. And the only thing is you can't make phone calls. Well, you can, but it costs, like, 25 cents a minute. So it's not included in your unlimited plan if you have T-Mobile. But I thought it was such a nice feature to have, and I didn't know about it until I got here. So it was a nice surprise. So we're back at the hotel, and I did change. I have my Happy Birthday Harry cake purse. This is my, like, Happy Birthday Harry cake outfit. And I even have the earrings and I just have the time turner necklace on and I just kind of went for this little like pink cake vibe for my birthday so tonight we're going to the Harry Potter cafe and we're gonna have some dinner and I want to take you guys along with us I'll show you all the stuff on their menu and what we end up ordering I also have one more thing for my outfit I almost forgot <laughs> I have this happy birthday Harry beret and I'm going to be wearing it somewhat like so I need to put it on and then you can see it from the back. So yeah, that is my little happy birthday outfit. <laughs> but yeah, I need to put the hat on now. Now I have the hat on, so you can't really see. Let me see. In the mirror. <laughs> but yeah, that is the happy birthday outfit for the Harry Potter Cafe. So let's head there now. Here's a close up of those happy birthday Harry earrings. They're so cute. Here's a close-up of my happy birthday Harry purse. This is by Flapper Bags. And then a little bit of a close-up on the material of this dress. I did find it on Amazon. It's very comfy. It buttons down all the way. It's got a little tie at the waist. And the sleeves are really fun. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day. We are now here at the Harry Potter Cafe, so let's go inside. Your menu, you order everything on here. Let's start with the side dishes, some of the main dishes, looks amazing, here are the desserts, the non-alcoholic cocktails, Hogwarts tasting menu, more drinks, And that's everything on here. We're now at the Harry Potter Cafe. We did get two drinks. So we got the Espresso Patronum. It did have like a bubble on it and I popped it. And then we also got the Lingardium Leviosa. You can see there's a feather in there and it's kind of like an apple-y drink. And I'm on a salad that she's starting with. But yeah, it's really cute in here. There's this giant wand, Harry's wand. Patronuses. Over on this side, you can see some more. That's where the kitchen is. It's not very big. You do need to get reservations to come in. And they sell out pretty quickly. They only pop up at the But I'm definitely happy to try it out. I can't wait for my food to get out. We got some desserts, but I will show you them as they come out. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, look at that. That looks cool. Ooh, that was 
so cool. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the Sunday roast. It looks like there's some toast on top. And then we've got some, I think, chicken maybe underneath and some broccoli. But ready to try it. I love how the plate has all of the Hogwarts houses on it. Very cute. We got the chocolate mousse air gas layer. You see him right there, the spider Coco. And here's the mousse. And then I got the Hedwig mousse, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. I'll look at the menu again. But look how cute she is. I'm so excited to dig in. Here's what the Hedwig one looks like inside. So this part is a cake, and then this is like some whip. It's so good. And then this part has like some kind of vanilla cake with some like fruit in it. This one's really good. Cool, they had this little like takeout area too. And they have a small area for some merch. Plates and mugs and spoons. Not too much though. Some little bottles over here. Cute. And then we got these on display. So we just finished up at the Harry Potter Cafe and some of the food was really good, some of it was not my favorite, but I did love the experience. There was a lot of different like, themed food, which I think is always fun. And I loved my dinner. It was amazing. The drinks, I would say, is just the things that weren't my favorite. They kind of had more of a chemically taste to them. So that's why I didn't really prefer them. But the food was really good. Dessert was really good. And yeah, if you're here, I would recommend giving it a try. So the Harry Potter Cafe is right over there. And just over here is this really cute area by the train station and it's all themed for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is over here as well. So we've got this beautiful sign and it changes colors here and then you've got the banners for all the Hogwarts houses. So now let's head on down here and see what they have displayed. I'm really excited. But I gotta watch this one because I'm about to fall. Alright. Pick it back up when I get closer. The first thing, they have all these Hogwarts portraits. Do you hear that music as well? I'm probably gonna have to turn this off before I get a copyright strike, but <laughs> really amazing. And then that's not all. Look at this. It's the Time Turner and it is gigantic and beautiful. I am obsessed. I wanna take it home. I just love it, it's so cute. And they even have portraits on this side too. Like the moving staircases. Little owl. Crushinks is down there. It's little Dobby down there. Really amazing. So that's gonna wrap up today's magical vlog. I am so excited to bring you guys along with me for this like Japan Harry Potter series. I am gonna be breaking up some of the days as I go. So I did forget to do a lot of outros and some intros. So you'll probably see me making them here in my Harry Potter room and trying to put them together as I go. So let me know what your favorite part from today's vlog was down in the comments below. And as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!